In this video, I'm going to share with you how to make a tiny planet video using Insta360 Studio so you can make a video which looks like this. To edit a tiny planet video, the first thing you need to do is drag and drop your INSV file into Insta360 Studio. And remember, because we're editing a reframed 360 video, you need to be in the free capture tab and not the view tab. The view tab is only for exporting immersive 360 videos. Now, as you can see, this video clip is over one minute long and I only want to make a 10 second shot. So the first thing we're going to do is trim this one minute footage into a 10 second video clip. So I'm gonna find where I want this video to begin. And the 12 second is fine. So I'm going to click my mouse at the 12 second. Now usually we would drag this all the way to the 12 second to make this the start of the video, but there's now an easier way to do this. So once I've clicked at the beginning of my video, which I want to be 12 second, I'm gonna click the mark as trim start button instead and now it automatically makes the 12 second the beginning of the video. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the end of the video and because I want this to be 10 seconds long, the video starts at the 12 second, I'm gonna add 10 seconds. So I'm gonna to go to the 20 second second to make this the end of the video over here and click the mark as trim end button. And we now have a 10 second video clip. So just like the video you saw, I want the video to begin with a normal view, then turn into a tiny planet view, and then turn back into a normal view again. So to do this, I'm going to click at the beginning of this video clip and add a keyframe over here. I'm then going to click the natural view so it removes all the distortion. And I'm gonna adjust the pan angle so my car is in the middle of the shot. I'm then gonna move forward two seconds to the 14th second, add a keyframe and adjust the pan angle to keep looking at my car. And if I play this back, let's see what we have so far. So the camera is following my car. And then at the 15th second, I'm going to add a keyframe and we're now gonna turn it into a tiny planet view. And the easiest way to do this is to click the tiny planet button and it adds the parameters for you and all you need to do is adjust it. So I'm gonna adjust the pan angle so that the car is directly on top over here. And now I want to achieve the rolling tiny planet effect. So the car is moving in the clockwise direction. So we need the tiny planet to move in the anti-clockwise direction. So I'm just gonna move forward in this timeline to about 20 seconds, add a keyframe over here and I'm gonna adjust the roll angle in the anti-clockwise direction until the car is back on top of the tiny planet. And if I just play this section back, you'll now see the rolling tiny planet effect. So the last thing I want to do is turn this back into a normal view again. So I'm gonna to go to the 21st second and I'll just zoom in so I can see the 21st second and click my mouse here add a keyframe, click the natural view button, and then I'm gonna adjust the pan angle to put my car back in the middle over here. Then I'm gonna click at the end of the video, add a keyframe, adjust the pan angle to put my car in the middle. And if I play this back, you now have a normal view, which turns into a rolling tiny planet view. And then eventually, it will turn back into a normal view again. And that's how you make a rolling tiny planet video. Now the last thing to do is to export your video. So to do this, click the export button. And if you want a 4K video, then enter 3840 by 2160. I shot this in H.265, so I'll click H.265 and it's automatically bumped up the bitrate to 200, which is fine. 
choose your file name, choose where you want to save the video to, and click OK. And that's how you make a Tiny Planet video in Insta360 Studio. If this video was easy to follow, then leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.